So very, very good uh, morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you're watching something for the weekend. And this weekend I'm on the Isle of Jersey. Thought we'd get away for a few days. Um, it's actually raining at the moment but it has been lovely and sunny to, so to uh, all my Jersey customers. And we've got quite a few on this island, some of which I've dealt with since the 80s if not earlier. Um, loving your place and certainly when the sun's shining it's a really beautiful island. So if you haven't been to Jersey um, pop over uh, but try and make sure that the ferry isn't doing this which it certainly was when we came here a few days ago but um, hopefully it's uh, going to be better. Right so uh, what have we got? Um, first of all we've got Jonathan coming up very shortly from the store in Staines to go through our latest selection of used equipment. Uh, we have uh, John Power going through the uh, new Anytone Jewel Bander, which we've been getting lots of, see lots of rave reviews and interest, and he'll be going through that. And then finally, we're going to end with Tony, just uh, going through a few bits on uh, what we've got to offer and what we're doing, and um, the store's open, of course. Um, IC 7610s, the ICOM uh, base station. Um, it's been out for a couple of years now, um, still selling extremely well. Um, special offer at the moment, order one of those over the bank holiday weekend, that's this weekend, and we'll throw in a matching SP41 speaker. That's the matching base station speaker, free of charge included in the deal. Um, we're almost out of them, so if you order quickly, you may get one in the package, otherwise you'll certainly get one following shortly after. So that's the ICOM IC7610, prices on the website, but including the matching ICOM SP41 speaker. Um, don't forget we have a ICOM IC7851, the big uh, base station flagship, we have two. Uh, we have a brand new box one that's never been out of it. Uh, that's available from stock instead of ordering and waiting three to six months for Icon to manufacture one. We've physically got a brand new unopened by human hand uh, boxed at the store. We also have um, a year or so old one which is so mint we've left it in its box and that's available for £7851 GBP. Um, with a full one year, 12 months parts and labour warranty. It's so mint, we left, we took it out, checked it and put it back in the box again. We haven't even put it on demo uh, at the Stain Superstore. Um, last Icon product um, we have on offer is the ICR 8600. That's available from stock if you're looking for an excellent um, all mode wideband receiver, um, but um, a real good performance uh, receiver from ICOM yet again, following through with their SDR range like the 7300, um, 7610, 9700. 705s are almost uh, with us. You'll be pleased to know, so all the people with back orders, stand by your beds and we'll be shipping those out as soon as they land. Um, so uh, very, very shortly, I'm pleased to say. I think they're actually manufacturing this week, I understand. Uh, Kenwood. Kenwood have finally delivered. Yes, we've got stock of Kenwood. Um, not much, but after all the back orders that have been going on for months, uh, the IC, sorry, the TS590SG, the Kenwood uh, transceiver, we have available X stock. So if you've been waiting for one of those, they really are uh, a great performer. Uh, in stock, ready to ship, uh, THD74s, the uh, Kenwood Jewel Bander with APRS and D-Star and everything else, they're finally back in stock. Uh, Yezu, massive delivery of uh, Yezu incidentally, uh, FTDX 101s, FT450s came in, all the back orders have been filled. And I spoke to Tony a few minutes ago, said so we had two left. So if you're waiting for an FT450D, jump in quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. stop there Martin. Just take a look here. Unfortunately, that is the last of the 450s going out from this batch. What I really must say is if you do want to place an order for anything that's out of stock, is please, please, please place a pre-order and we can give you a call as soon as it comes back in. Thanks. And also do bear in mind, they're actually stopping production uh, of that transceiver. I just hope they've got something to replace it because it's the best entry um, uh, price, price point um, HF and 6 meter transceiver with a tuner available. Anyway, uh, FTDX 101s as well, another big delivery of those have just come in. Um, IC7300s um, and everything else, all, all available from stock. So that's enough from me. I think now it's 
I'm getting a bit wet by the way because it is raining again but it's not the first time I've waffled in the rain. Over to Jonathan in Staines, just like that. Thanks Martin and welcome to the Martin Lynch and Sons showroom here in Staines and I've been let out of my cage in front of the camera in order to bring you the latest used equipment. It feels like months since I've done one of these, probably because it is. Henry, let's start over here. Let's start with the IC756 Pro 3. This is, of course, Icom's former, former, former version of the 7610, if you want to think of it like that, the predecessor uh, to the 7600 that lasted many years in Icom's range. 756 Pro 3 is a fantastic radio, HF and 6 meters, 100 watt output power. Uh, this particular one doesn't have the box, but it is supplied with a DC power cable and manual. Uh, lovely radio, lovely scope on these, still beloved by, um, by everyone who uses them. I was speaking to a customer just the other day uh, who has a 756 Pro 3 and a 9700 and can't quite bring himself to trade in his 756 Pro 3 in order to go for a 7610. Gary, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, so that's available from stock here, 949. Let's move on. We've just taken in an old Kenwood TS870. I say old, but actually it's in very good condition. Yes, it's one of uh, Kenwood's more classic radios in design. It's uh, you know, probably pushing on the door of 20, if not 25 years old, but it's still doing everything it should. It is boxed and complete with the Mike Manual and DC cable at uh, yours for just 599 pounds, which is a huge saving over what they would have been when brand new. Uh, we'll just go back over here. We've got an ICR 8600 just out there. Uh, this is, of course, ICOM's uh, fantastic communications receiver covering from almost DC to daylight, uh, but not quite as far, far. As you can see, it is there on the box, $21.99 the price. So you're saving yourself a few hundred pounds off brand new, but that one is pretty much in brand new condition. Uh, moving along, got sat here. We mentioned the 756 Pro 3. We do have uh, a 7610. Uh, this, of course, Icom's latest and greatest dual receive uh, SDR. It's more than just two 7300s in a box. We have to say that it has got a better A to D converter. Uh, and it's also got a much nicer screen, the ability to put a, an external monitor on it. Yours for just $24.99. Again, that's about £500 off what you'd pay brand new for one. And just that on the top of it, uh, we've got, um, we don't see very many of these in use, a CT17. If you've got a, an ICOM radio uh, that doesn't have the USB port in it, and I'm thinking older radios like the 756 Pro 3, for instance, uh, or any of the older ICOM radios that have that CIV port on them, you're going to need a CT17 if you want to do anything with computers in order to get it onto uh, a, a computer and have an RS-232 interface. Uh, that is yours. It is boxed for just £79. Moving on, a TS-2000 just sat there. Uh, this one is the one without 23 SEM. So this is HF 6, 2 and 70. 100 watts out on HF and 2 metres. That's why you buy one of these, of course, 100 watts out on two. Uh, this one, £899, and uh, it is uh, boxed and complete, looking at the side of it. Uh, moving along, um, a TS480 sat. We've got a couple of these in at the moment. This one uh, is not boxed. This one is, as you see it there, it is with the manual. It has got the microphone and obviously the DC cable as well. Being the sat, it means it's the 100 watt model, uh, but it does have the inbuilt ATU. That's really handy if you're going to go put one of these in the car or take it portable even uh, 749 gets you that one a really really nice solid hf radio from kenwood just that next to it very briefly an fh2 if you've got a ac radio something like a 450 or uh, a 950 or any of those ft1000 even you just want a, an easy way to punch a frequency in fh2 19 pounds very very nice indeed uh acom an 048 t we don't see very many of these at all. This is a, obviously Acom's uh, remote tuner, which works in tandem with their solid state amplifiers. Things like the uh, Acom, uh, the old Acom 600 or the new Acom 700, and of course the Acom 1200S as well. At 799, boxed and complete. Uh, if you've got an Acom amp, if you've got one of those amplifiers and uh, you want to add a, a nice ATU to it, 0480 is really the best way you can go. Uh, we've got a Kenwood MC60. In fact, we've got a couple of them at the moment. One's boxed, one isn't. Uh, for the one that's not boxed, £79. For the one that is in the box, slightly newer and slightly better condition, £109.95. Uh, also, brief past the TS2000X. So, everything I said about the TS2000E just now applies to the X. In addition, 23 SEMs on that one as well. What else have we got here? Uh, we've got, oh, I can't forget this one, FTDX 101D. So this is, of course, Yesu's latest and greatest flagship 
being the D, it's the 100 watt model rather than the 200 watt. But if you're going to put it onto an amplifier, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're going to supply it with the um, with the cover you see just on top of it. Uh, of course, HF six and four meters as well. Uh, one of the well, one of the first radios at Yasu that's had four meters as standard. Of course, the 847 kind of had four meters on it back in the day, uh, but uh, 101 and 101 uh, MP obviously designed with four meters in mind. Uh, box and complete 2749. Uh, it's not that old, it's come from a very uh, good customer of ours, uh, so it has been well looked after. I've had a look over, I did clean it up myself, not a scratch on it, not a mark on it, as you would expect from ourselves. What else have we got here? Uh, another 480 sat, that one's a bit cheaper at 599. Uh, got uh, an AOR, ARDV1. Let's talk about this very briefly. Uh, this course, AOR, uh, sorry, AOR's uh, communication receiver that does all of the digital modes. So D Star Fusion, uh, DMR, uh, NXDN, and all the commercial standards as well. Obviously, it must, does bear bearing in mind that it will not do Tetra, will not decode encrypted Tetra, and will not decode encrypted DMR. Uh, but on that, boxed and complete, £999. Again, you're saving yourself about £300 off uh, brand new. I'm going to pull, uh, pull Henry back over here to this uh, Yaesu FT897D. So this one we're selling as a complete package. So as you can see it there, it's the radio itself. It's got the um, bolt-on LDG tuner, the 8897 Plus, and it's also got installed in the bottom of it, the FP30 power supply. So 699 pounds, you get everything you need to get yourself on air, apart from an antenna and a bit of coax. You need to just plug in a mains cable, which has come with it, and uh, obviously the antenna, and you are good to go on HF, VHF, UHF. 699, a fantastic price, really. We'd, if we were to break it apart and sell it as separate bits, you know, you'd be paying at least a couple of hundred pounds more. So bargain price as a bundle, 699. Uh, very quickly, 5100, just sat next to it. 2 and 70 for uh, D-Star and FM. Of course, with GPS built in as well, with the uh, really handy um, near repeater uh, mode as well. Seven, uh, sorry, 474. 95. Uh, moving around, got a little dumbbell load, just to give that a quick mention. Uh, MHA 264, 49 pounds. Uh, it's a dumbbell load for one and a half kilowatts. What more do we need to say? We'll go all the way up from uh, from one meg to 650 meg. So good for all the amateur bands up to uh, 70 cents. Uh, moving uh, quickly along, we've got uh, an FT8900R. Now this is one of the later ones. This, I think the serial number on here from memory is about a 2015 or 2016 model. So it is one of the, the later ones, which when new came with the YSK separation kit. And the previous owner, as you can probably tell, left it in the box for its entire life. So everything in, in the box is with it as brand new. Uh, and it, the YSK, the separation kit is, is unused. 249 and if you've ever watched me do one of these videos where there's been an 8900 before uh, I'm going to tell you that I use one in my own car or at least I did do until very very recently uh, but 8900 a loved radio 1062 and 70 50 watts out on 106 and 2 35 watts out on 70 sems and yeah, dual receive good for satellite working so if you want to get on the FM satellites uh, a good very good option uh, what else I'm going to mention very quickly, Watson W25AM, uh, 30 amp power supply, nice big heavy uh, linear power supply, so none of that uh, nasty noise you can get from some switch mode power supplies. I must stress that, some switch mode supplies, not every single one exhibits the noise that, uh, that some do. Uh, and then moving along, we've got another 897 there. That one's got some uh, the bat chargers and the battery. I have to say we, know, we will not provide a warranty on the batteries, uh, but uh, it's very nice it is. Uh, of course, with the batteries installed, you can get 20 watts out uh, on HF, um, and just as it is. Uh, moving just quickly along, I'll just do a few more here. We've got an IC910HX, so that's... Uh, in many respects, the predecessor to the 9700, uh, 270 and 23 SEMs, uh, boxed and complete at 1049. A little bit of wear on the top panel, I was just saying, if you can, if we can get that on the video, it's a little bit of wear on the top, but other than that, it's, it's in a very nice condition. Uh, I think, uh, no, it was the other one that had, we had two in, at the same time, and the other one had a small dent at the back, but that was the other one that we've just recently got rid of. Uh, final few items, because we're down this end. Uh, we've got another uh, 897, I'm going to mention this one as well. Also got the battery, also got the chargers, um, and that one's also got the, um, the LDG tuner on, bolted on the side. 649 gets you that one. Again, because of the batteries, uh, you're looking at uh, 20 watts out 
um, when on the internal batteries. Last couple of bits, an 818 boxed and complete, obviously the successor to the ever popular FT817, uh, six watts out and the high stability TCXO as standard. Uh, again, a lovely radio if you're gonna go out portable. Uh, if you're thinking that, um, that you might be tempted by a 705, do consider the 818 and particularly a used one at 429. That's a really good price, boxed as new, uh, looks hardly used. And very finally, down here, boxed up, still in its box, because we don't want to, uh, we've cleaned it, we've spent a load of time cleaning it, and we don't really want to get it back out of the box and have to clean it again before we package it back up. Uh, an IC7851. Uh, this is, of course, ICOM's flagship HF and 6 meter 200 watt uh, transceiver. Uh, it is up at the clever, clever price of 7,851 pounds. You can see what we did there, can't you? Again, that is ready to ship now. It's absolutely immaculate inside the box. Comes with everything you would expect. Uh, obviously, the being a, a flagship doesn't come with a microphone, but I'm sure we could sort you out if you were interested. Give us a call, 0345 2300 And if you want to view the whole list, because we do update it on a daily basis, that's the thing, we've got some more stuff. I'm going to finish this video, go to the other end of the showroom, continue cleaning some more stuff that's going to get put on the website. So if you, if you see anything here that you like the looks of, and it's on the website, buy it very quickly because they don't last long. Uh, but do keep checking back to the website every single day because we do update it daily, hamradio.co.uk forward slash used. And now, John is gonna give us an overview of an Anytone product. Hello, good afternoon. My name's John, I work here at Martin Inch & Sons at Staines. And today I'm gonna to talk about the Anytone D578 and the options that you can have with the radio if you can't always go mobile, you live in a flat or you're in a home and basically you just wanna get onto a DMR but you haven't got the facilities to put up aerials or go mobile. This is the D578 dual band analog and DMR radio, it's got loads of contacts you can store, it's a very sturdy radio, but you can use it indoors, you don't have to go mobile with it. But if you do go mobile and you're not near repeaters, what we do sell also is a zoom spot, which tethers to your mobile phone and it enables you then to get onto the DMR network. This is a transferable portable system, because also on the zoom spot selection list, it's a battery power pack, so if you haven't got enough cigarette lighters in your car to power the zoom spot, you can use the um, battery pack which is on the product accessories for the zoom spot and also the required USB lead. Now obviously when we do ship these they're not programmed so you would need to download the free programming software from our website and take some time to be able to navigate and get used to the software. There are a number of code plugs on the web that you can download and populate this radio with. And once you've done that, linking this to this on a dedicated frequency is very simple. Now, if on the laptop, this is a demonstration, just a, a copy of the software, which is a free download. You can read and write from the radio, pop the, the, populate the radio with all the memories that you require and move them around as you see fit. This is the complete mobile solution setup. If A, you can't put up an aerial, B, you can't go mobile, and C, you want a solution indoors, if you live in a flat or like I said, a home, this is an ideal solution. It's a great radio and it get you on DMR. You can speak to people all over the world. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch & Sons. Thank you for watching this week's Something for the Weekend. Uh, just to let you know, we are open and as you can see, Customers are in a safe distance in, and obviously we're just asking you to wear the masks as per the government guidelines at the moment. We do have all the uh, sanitizing lotions, etc., here. So you're more than welcome to come into the store. We're open on Saturday, this bank holiday weekend, back in on Tuesday. And we've got loads of used items as well, which are coming downstairs. They've been through quarantine, all being checked, all being cleaned, warranties added, etc. So please come down, and if you've got any pod exchange equipment, please email me direct if you need to or you can call the office and i'm here for you and uh, we can do a good trading for you thanks for watching take care